Hello. Hi guys. So today let's see like how can we create a Google uh, test cases, a unit test cases using Google test framework. And there are two ways you can create a uh, unit test cases. Uh, one is by linking a G test library and also by linking a G test underscore main library. So I'll going to tell you the difference between those two. And uh, this video will be a little lengthy video. And here you can see I have an empty folder from scratch. I'm creating a Google test using CMake. So let's get started. So here you can see like I have an empty folder. So let me create uh, folders. So let's say I'll create a library. So which we are going to test. And also let's create our main.cpp. And this is our client. And let me create one more file. CMake lists dot txt so let me go ahead and uh, uh, fill out this one so see make minimum version required so let's go here see make version so 3.22 so let me do that one 3.22.0 dot zero this is the minimum version required and the project is like a maybe example google test and also let me go and uh, put some stuff here so i should include io stream so here i created a hello word sample hello word so let me go and do add executable so let's make it as a.out main.cpp and let me go and test whether our things are working fine see make hyphen b build see make build and build so now let me go into build directory a.out yes it is working fine and also like uh, i gonna give you a, a link above so to see like how can we install a google test framework so that I already covered in a previous video so now let's continue i have created a main.cpp let me go and create a simple uh, a library let me call it as kelsey.h and kelsey.cpp so this is a simple calculator programs which I am going to create now. So let me go here and do slash pragma ones hash pragma ones class Kelsey. So let me go ahead and fill it here. So here you can see I created a definition for this one. So let me go ahead and create a make file for this one. Yeah, in this make what we can do is we can create a library. So my library output is Kelsey and it takes one input file that is kelsey.cpp so this is this will generate a static library so if i want to generate a li dynamic library then i have to do shared here so let me go ahead with a simple approach let's create static library now so then i have to go into main cmake here i have to call add subdirectory lib so let me go ahead and compile and see cmake build so here you can see the libcalc.a is being generated. So it is present in build director, build lib. So here you can see libcalc.a is being generated. Now let's go and use that one. So before using that one, let's go ahead and create a unit test case for this calci. So in order to do that one, so let's go here and create one more folder called unit test. So inside this one, let me create a file called calci underscore unit underscore test dot cpp. So for unit test case, what we have to do, we have to include this file gtest right slash gtest dot h. And also we want to test this header, right? Calci. Let me include that one as well. Calci dot h. Now let me go ahead and create test cases. So first thing is like we need to have a main we need to have a main and we need to have argument argc so let me go ahead and initialize this one testing and initialize a google test so i need to give address of argc comma argv then i have to do run all tests and i need to return the result of this one so now in order to execute the test cases what we have to do is first we need to add a test so test suit name let's call it as calci so first thing is like i am testing addition so these are all the uh, names which we need to give so there is no underscore comma and all those things are allowed here then let me go ahead and create an object 
calci calci so then calci dot add so let me add 10 and 20 so here what we can do is there is something called expect underscore equal so I am expecting so I do a calculation so that is addition 10 and 20 my expectation is 30 and if I want to test a negative test case let me do copy paste this one so let's say 20 something this is what I did not expect it so I can do not equal not equal to this one so this is maybe like a kind of invalid test case okay so this is a simple test case I have written so let me go ahead and create a CMake for this one yeah. so here what I have to do is I need to create an executable for this one this is executable and executable maybe a, let's call as calci test it takes test.cpp so this is what it takes so also I need to link this library link libraries calci underscore test then I need to give gtest underscore libraries so this one will create a unit test case for a calci application so let me go ahead and compile whether everything works smooth build so here you can see the error tower so let me remove this build so before that one I need to add this file right so I need to add the unit test so let me go here and let's add subdirectory unit test so let me go ahead and build it cmake build build so here it is saying calci.h is not found in unit test because this calci is present above this directory right so there is two way to fix so let me go ahead and fix it here target include directories so my target is calci underscore test my include folders are present just above this folder so this is what I said so let me go ahead and build again target called with invalid argument so I need to give here public private and interface so let me give it as public as of now so let me go ahead and build so now here you can see there are like a lot of uh, linking error so let me go ahead and see the calci test body undefined reference to this one so why because I did not given a library which I want to link I want to link a calci library itself right so that is nothing but the name of this library that is calci so I'll go here and I added this one so let me go and rebuild again so what is happening here so let's go ahead so I have to give gtest require so this is required to build our uh, CMIC project let me go ahead and build it again yes so now you can see it is working fine so let me go ahead and execute our unit test case so it is inside lib this is inside a unit test and I can execute calci test so can you see here so we could able to execute our unit test cases so and you can see here there is a problem I need to give a complete path of this one so what if I don't want to give this one so if you don't want to give this one so you can use a C test so go ahead here then you can do something called before this one you need to tell that I am enabling I am enable enabling the testing then you can go ahead here and you can add the test add test your test is this one and your executable name is this one both are same either you can give a different name and how do you want to execute this is your executable name so let me go ahead and build it again yes now what we can do is we can give something like this test or else you can go into this build directory you can give iphone iphone v or simply c test so this also works so it automatically find out where and all the test cases paths are there and it also collects all the executable and it will execute here you can see calci test this is the name of the test so yes this is how we can create a unit test case so now the another way what we can do is here you can see there is an int main so I don't want this int main even I can do this one so let me comment out this one so let's not have a main so instead of without using that main what we have to do is you we have to link a library called main so what it does is it automatically generate a int main for the for you 
so whatever we have done manually right so that is automatically being generated using this library so let me go ahead and build it again build so here you can see it has built again so if i want to execute everything so let's simply use c test the other way is you can go inside this lib unit and you can execute calci so this is other way to execute the test cases and here you can see you are not getting very much uh, information something which is present like here so if you want to get such kind of information you need to enable a verbose enter so now you can see all your outputs are coming as expected so how you have executed here so this is the two ways you can execute a unit test case and you can write a unit test case for your library now let goes in main so here you can see it's a hello world so now from my unit test case it is confirmed that everything is working fine so let me go ahead and add calc.h then i can use my calculator calcc then i need to come here so since my main.executable needs a library let me link this library which is nothing but target link libraries a dot out main dot c sorry i need to link this one using calci now let me go ahead and rebuild so even you can build using make so let me go ahead and do this one so here you can see there is a calci.h is not found because the include directory i need to add so instead of this one you can add a include directory like this as well so where is that file is present inside the slip right so let me go ahead and add lib let me go ahead and recompile so now here you can see the main is working fine so here a dot since we did not add it anything it is not printing anything so let's go and add so here i saved this output into answer variable so then i printed that let me go ahead and make this one again then let me execute this one the sum of 10 and 20 is 30. yes so the summary is so there is two way you can um, create your unit test case one is using main like this however we have done so another one without main so whenever you are creating with main you need to link a library without this one and if you want to generate a make uh, generate a main automatically then you need to link with gtest underscore main underscore libraries so this way you can create a google test framework sorry unit test cases using main and without main that's it for this video so let's meet on next uh, video thank you